Hello and welcome physics students. Today we're going to learn a net external force problem and and a shortcut on how to do it. And we're going to do this quickly today. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we got a book sliding down a table and it's a 35 degree incline. So we're going to set this all up one more time here. And uh, that's going to come over here. And this is going to be, if I can get on the right layer here this is going to be our 35 degree angle here and if this is 35 of course this angle here will be 55 and then the trick to doing this problem is we're going to manufacture a right triangle out of this here and here and that's going to be our component vectors of this hypotenuse right here. So if this is 22 newtons, that's called the normal force pulling down to the earth. We're going to find this and this right here. And I'm going to call this Y, and I'm going to call this X. Okay. So uh, in modeling like this, when you're doing a, a triangle, sometimes it's nice to make a bigger one out of it, kind of sort of to scale there but it doesn't really matter this will be 22 and this is of course y and x <clears throat> and uh, now we're going to find each vector so if we're going to find the y first that's going to be adjacent over hypotenuse that's cosine and uh, we need to find this angle here first I guess that right there is going to be since it's complementary to the 55 that's going to be 35 right there so this is 35 so the cosine of 35 equals y over 22 <laughs> as a 22 gone wild there let's do that again 22 and then the sine of 35 will be opposite over hypotenuse so that is x over 22 all right so these will each be multiplied together. So we do 22 times the cosine of 35. And uh, that will equal 18. Somewhere around 18. It's like 18.02. And the sine of 35 times 22 will be somewhere around 12.6. So now if we come up here, that means that this x distance is going to be equal to this x distance here is going to be equal to this right here and that is going to be 12.6 this green arrow here the y the direction is of course 18 and that's equal to this blue 18 so they're going to oppose each other equally uh, but this to get the net external force the 11 and the 12.6 have to be subtracted and you'll see that the answer is uh, 1.6 going in this direction so the book will actually slide off the table because this basically is beating this blue force of friction here so that is the answer to how you do that um, if you look at the same problem though if I fade this out and I come back and I show you a trick way of doing this problem remember this only works because this is preset up for you so if you ever have to do this problem again and it's pre-labeled like this, the absolute easiest way to do this is to drop this straight down because you know that that 18 and this 18 have to be equal. Otherwise, it's breaking this table and it doesn't say anything about that. If we just pop this over, watch how simple this is, that creates our right angle. And then from here, Pythagorean theorem, right? If we call this A, B, and C, it would simply be 22 squared minus 18 squared. And if we do all the math here, that's going to wind up, let's see here, 22 squared minus 18 squared is 160, thank you. 160 equals A squared. And then, of course, you square root that. And you're going to get um, what we want. But let's just double check it. 
Now, this, of course, is a cutesy way of doing a difficult problem only because you have all three of these vectors preset up for you. Um, so don't, don't think that this is the way to do this problem because it's not. The way that I showed you before um, is. So this, if it's preset up like this, you can certainly do this because that has to be 18. If not, you got to go and do it like the other ones. See you later.